So now uh, next I'll discuss how we cleared or how I cleared my MEO class 1 written exam and oral again in my first attempt. So what is it? Writing practice. So one should be writing what we are reading. We don't know what we are gaining unless we start writing. So keep scribbling. Then to the point answer. Don't just beat around the bush. Come to the point directly. No unnecessary lengthy answers. Right. So here is a very interesting case study. Uh, I like to share, uh, but that one is of uh, MEO class 2 uh, time when we were giving one of my friend and I was giving MEO class 2 exam from Kolkata in 2011. So uh, we used to discuss that either you only will pass or I only will pass. Why? Because my strategy was to the point answers, no unnecessary beating around the bush. Whereas my friend's strategy was writing so much of information that the surveyor has to pick. Okay, he has written enough. So yes, these five points are valid. So he's passed. So, uh, and then we used to just say that either you only will pass or I only will pass. If the content is valid, then I only will pass. If they value the weight of the book, <laughs> then you only will pass. But uh, to our surprise, both, both this, uh, like my friend and me, both of us passed together only in July 2011. You can check that result of MEO class 2 exam of July 2011. From Kolkata MMD, only three people passed. Two was me and my friend and one was the guy from the STEAM. So uh, those who have cleared all the six papers uh, in one go. So uh, again, as I said, there is no clear strategy. But I feel if you write to the point answers and no unnecessary beating around the bush, your chances of passing the exams are clear. Now uh, more. Of course, attempt all the questions. If six questions are, they want you to answer six questions, then you need to answer six questions. How to mentally prepare yourself for chief engineer responsibility? See, this one is very easy. Once you have the red certificate, right? So the red COC, of course, class one COC, you are anyway stronger, right? Most difficult job was when you joined as a first time fourth engineer, not even as a junior engineer, right? But when you joined as a first time fourth engineer, because now you are responsible. Now you have to do things on your own. So that was more scarier for me than MEO class one or joining as a chief engineer and the entire second engineer contract. That means the day you became second engineer till your last day as a second engineer, that was more difficult. So that means as a chief engineer, 100% you will succeed. Then take advice from the seniors, friends. However, you have to make your own strategy. It does not work on others uh, advice alone. Right now, important things for the first time chief engineer. The first thing that one of my very experienced chief engineer and a very good friend now, uh, he told me that you can become chief engineer only when you hang up the boots of second engineer. That means you cannot be a second engineer anymore. Right. So you have to hang up the boots of second engineer. Then engine room is not your only focus now. Now you are not just chief engineer of the engine room. You are the chief engineer of the ship. Second engineer till second engineer rank understood that you are concerned with the uh, like uh, engine room only. But as a chief engineer, now you are responsible for everything on the ship. Right. Not just the engine part, but the cargo and everything. Right. Then. Prioritize people management over the other tasks and responsibilities. Of course, the jobs to be done, uh, uh, we have certain tasks and responsibility. But how to manage the people, that is your major concern now. Now, cut down the horns that one grows from fifth engineer till the last contract as second engineer. So, I have written it in a funnier way, but that is true. When we join as a junior engineer, so we, we start getting the feed that this deck people, this, that. So this deck engine, deck engine get uh, like fed into us from the uh, fifth engineer and we grow the highest horns when we are a second engineer, first time second engineer and then we keep on growing with the attitude and all. So when you become a chief engineer, you need to cut those horns. You are no more a departmental head kind of thing. You are responsible for the entire ship. Then embrace the role of a leader. Now you are a leader. Right. Competency level between second engineer and chief engineer. If you see the exam syllabus and the competency requirement is same. Only difference is the leadership. Right. And take the ownership of your team's failure. If your team has failed, that means you need to own up to it. You have to say that, yes, I failed. Then communicate effectively with your team members and provide clear direction and guidance. So you are only now a director. You are no more an actor. Right. Till second engineer, you are an actor. But once you become a chief engineer, now you are a director. You have to be behind the scene. You cannot be on the scene. Right. 
seek feedback and guidance from experienced chief engineer to enhance your skill and knowledge in the people management so that's how you will be a good chief engineer right now mistakes that many make as a chief engineer as i already told if when when they don't grow up from a second engineer that means the worst mistake that anyone can make is not hang second engineer's boot why because in one engine room there cannot be two second engineers right so there can be only one second engineer in engine room you cannot be another second engineer in engine room right trusting is good right another uh, thing checking is better again this is a famous quote by one of my best friend i will not name him here but that is his dialogue that trusting is good but checking is better so you trust your guys but it's always better that you check right therefore trust but not blindly right that is the key to success as a chief engineer now first day as a chief engineer so of course i'll tell by myself i was delighted yet scared of course you are scared when you are like happy yet containing my happiness you cannot show that happiness oh my god i'm a chief engineer now i'll just fly and all so you cannot show that then it's a new system new rank new fear now see as a uh, this noon book we have filled up as a fifth engineer we have filled up as a fourth engineer also but when you fill it up as a chief engineer for the first time that one is more scarier than overhauling a main engine unit or maybe main bearing right so that's what i'm telling new system new rank new fears and out but the confidence should be there that if i have survived all through this rank i survived fifth engineer also people used to say you are useless i survived that one i survived a fourth engineer also where people said tere ko purifier nahi aata hai you don't know this you don't know that so you you survived that one also you survived as a third engineer also you survived as a second engineer also where you get some chief engineer like uh, hell so you survived that phase also so that means this also will you will be able to survive right so don't worry about that one now <clears throat> what could be the problems faced during the meo class 1 exam so uh, with me uh, what happened when i gave exam it was the covid times right so now the group studies is forever gone forever right then lack of aggregate study material we did not have any good study material it was like all haphazard study something from here study something from there right so no good notes and even if some notes are available most of the entries there are incorrect or not updated right then time management because once you are chief engineer you are by this time you are already married you have kids and also you don't really get the time to study so time management during the exam especially the written exams and all right when you are preparing for because then you need to practice so orals okay you need to just mug up you can find some time here and there but for the written you need to practice you need to write so you need some me time that's uh, that is required so uh, finding that time was difficult now mistakes again give your exams on priority right so you have to give your exams on priority don't unnecessarily delay it do not take preparatory that means the two month course as a just another stcw course it's not that it's just a requirement that you have to do and then you have to start studying afterwards no during the preparatory the course is same they are teaching you the same thing so it's better that we prepare and study try to study during this time period itself right study during this time itself and unless extremely necessary unless there are some circumstances that you have to join please do not join the ship when you are into this journey just appear uh, do the preparatory appear exam pass the exam get the coc then only go unless it is extremely uh, necessary again uh, it is depending upon your priority now in my case as i said i was late than my friends because the covid time for almost one year there was no exam my friends had just appeared before the covid they had passed i had to wait one year for the exams to start then i appeared and so many things so i got late so as we are discussing meo class 1 exam i'll uh, let to inform you that we have a course for meo class 1 aspirants where we have covered the entire syllabus for the better understanding of the students it's in the form of a small videos where why you can just read at your convenience it is not very expensive it is pocket friendly and more importantly it is covering all the aspects from a student's point of view so thank you so much for your support and we like to appreciate